How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another video on the channel. Of course, it's like still echoey, it's still blank in the background. It's going to be like that for some time, but today we start a, a kind of a brand new series, but I don't know what to call the series. So if you've got any idea for this series, comment section below is the place to be to uh, suggest some names. Now, what I want to do in this series is look at players that are... Look look good on this game, don't get me wrong, they look good on this game, but players, they don't know whether to put them in their teams or not, so it's like a review, but it's not a review. Of course, reviews can be any player in this game, like Neymar, for example, everyone knows they want Neymar on the team, but there's likes of the rest of the world tops. It's got me thinking, you know what, that guy could fit in my team, but is he any good? This guy could fit in my team, but is he any good? And that's what this series will look to kind of delve into, so it could be like Hidden Gems, Must Try This, Try This Cards... I don't know, I literally have no idea what to call this series, so if you've got any ideas, comment section below, and if you do enjoy, smash a like on the video, 1000 likes is your target, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here, lads, let's jump into it, and today's player, as you can see by the team in the background, is on the right hand side, so if you can guess this straight away, comment section below of course, but in terms of the player today, he's from Denmark, he's on the right hand side, and his name is Skorba. Skorba, I think is how you pronounce his name. Skorba looks very good in this game. If you look at his card stats, boys, just look at some of those, man. Outstanding. From the 95 pace to 95 sprint speed, he should be very quick on this game. He's got 94 attack and positioning, 99 shot power, 98 long shots, and 89 finish, and 99 with a dead eye chem style. 83 volleys. I mean, he just looks phenomenal. The look at the dribbling, man. It's 92 and so this card could easily be an end game card, but lads, there's one stopping point, three star weak foot, three star skill moves, so could that be the stopping point with the card? As you can see, he's got a good record for me, playing nine, well, playing six times, scoring nine goals and one assist, all in foot champions, which you will see later on in this video. Um, high to low work, yes, so he's going to stay forward at all times, he's not going to try to track back too much, and he is very tall at six foot, hence, why the jumping... It really doesn't matter too much. The, the head accuracy, it does matter, but again, it's not what you want from this card. You want him to be powerful on the ball, you want him to be direct, and you want him to be scoring goals. So the formation I'm gonna to play today is the 4 2 You can see the team in the background right now. Skob is on the right-hand side. We've got Zanetti linking him and Ericsson linking him. So it's quite hard to get someone from Copenhagen. Is it Copenhagen or Copenhagen? I think it's Copenhagen. But uh, Copenhagen, uh, it's, it's very hard to get someone from that like city or that club uh, involved in your team because honestly, that league it's it, it's it's derived of talent, so to speak. So we've got Ericsson, the fellow Dane, to link up with him. Of course, you could have got Loudrop and given that strong link, so you wouldn't need a kind of a new right back in there. I bought Zanetti just for this kind of video, and um, the team in general is very good. And we all played it in champs. I think we lost like one game out of the six and score. <sighs> Basically, he was good. He was good, but we're gonna go for the video just to see how good he was because price-wise, he costs like 55k. He is very cheap on this game. Very, very cheap. So 55k for Robert Skov with those stats. Looks like a steal, but will he be a steal? Like I said, 4 triple 2 is the formation today and see it on your screen right about now as we go through it. And then um, that's where you play. Players are Ram to Pie straight alongside Son, Christian Eriksen at Lam, Vieira, Awa, Max Sonzo, Dab Louise, Van Dijk, Zanetti, and David De Gea. So lads, Foot Champions was where we did play the games. Let's go into that. Let's see how he did. So here we go then, lads. Now this is a little bit different because obviously normally it's postcom and it's still postcom, but I'm I'm on the camera. So in terms, by the way, is anyone's dog just like flop on the floor in the sun? Mine's just kind of sleeping there in the sun. But anyways, guys, in terms of Skob, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a look over the gameplay. You're going to see the goals in the background of, like, the face and stuff in the video. And um, I'm going to talk through them, and I'm going to talk about his strengths, his cons, his his kind of positives, and if he's kind of value for coins, because this card was sublime at times. Just look at this. Cutting inside there at the angle, winning a penalty, and my rule of thumb is, if they win the penalty... They take the penalty. On this occasion, he actually does miss. But anyways, Ashkov, what is he all about? Is he any good? For 55k, lads, this guy's a super sub, and he's a super sub with a kind of tendency to run past players, to outstrengthen players. You've got to remember he's got 87 strength, 91 aggression. Very impressed with that, as he does miss the penalty there in the video. He's got 97 stamina as well, so he's never going to run out of stamina. You could run him from minute 1 to minute 120. He's never going to run out of stamina and go all game long. In terms of dribbling, 97 agility. 
dribble. He's fast on the dribble, and you will see that um, in the gameplay because what I tended to do with him was do the step overs. Now, he doesn't have four star skills, he's got three star skills, and that is a con in itself. Don't get me wrong, that is a con, but the step overs are very overpowered. If you watch any of his way back videos this year, he does the step overs all the time. I was winning penalty after penalty, after penalty, I think I just won three. But uh, I was scoring goals like that as well, where I did the step overs, cut inside onto his stronger left foot, and then punished the other team. Because with the right foot being um, a free start, it's not that great, I'm not gonna lie, it's not that great. And what you wanna do is cut inside at all opportunities. You've seen the step overs there, win another penalty there in the background. But you wanna cut inside at all opportunities, get on that left foot, and see if you can take a ping, because he's got 99 shot power. That is incredible, man. 99 shot power, he's basically got 99 finishing as well with the, the Dead Eye Chem style, takes him to 99 finishing. And he's got 99 long shots with the Dead Eye Chem style too, plus one in that category. So he's got 98 long shots in general anyways. And um, he's just a finisher of the ball, especially if you do get it onto the stronger foot. And that is the left as we build up down our left-hand side here. It's Ericsson on the ball. He's gonna kind of switch it across the, the kind of the pitch because this is what Shkov tends to do. It's Son on the ball right now, nice to cut inside, and there is Shkov scoring in the middle. Because Skov, he, he does this. He's got this stack of scoring goals. He's got this knack of getting into the right position. What's his work rates? High to low. So that's good work rates. And of course, the positioning is 94, 99 with a dead eye cam style. So it can definitely get in the right positions to score the goals. And with the quality that he's got, the 89 finish, 99 shot power, 98 long shots, that he's going to score goals, especially on the stronger left foot. When it comes to pace, 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, he's got the pace in his locker to pull it out the back, to attack, to beat players. And this is what I like doing with this card, beating players time after time, game after game, because say if you're one and he's another one, basically you can do this, just go that side, and if he's got the agility and stuff, it's gonna turn really slow, and uh, with Scott's pace, and six foot tall, and 87 strength and 91 aggression, lads, you passed him in a flash, you are gone to the other side of the pitch, and you've got a chance to cross, you've got the chance to pass, you've got the chance to dribble, you've got the chance to shoot, you've got a chance to run, you can just do what you want once you're in behind that defence and Son gets the ball after Shkov did intercept it, nice little header in the midfield and uh, he basically got me there because of his aggression to get in that position as Son gets the ball, he plays it to Shkov, look at this, oh my good god, what a blast that is, but they're kind of glitched. Are they glitched? I'm not too sure, but uh, they're not the best shots in the world to score, but uh, a goal's a goal at the end of the day. Everything's mechanics on this game. I know a lot of people say you're abuse mechanics to certain people, to certain creators, to certain pros. Lads, mechanics are there to be abused. I mean, if there weren't, um, there wouldn't be an issue with this game, but there's so many flawed mechanics on this game that there is issues with the game, and it's down to the mechanics. And Skov gets the ball again, nice little one-two. Well, it's like a one-two three this time. He's in behind, this is his right foot, by the way, and he puts it under the keeper into the back of the net. So the right foot can still score goals, can still pass, can still assist on the freestyle weak foot. It's just not as good as like shooting from outside the area and whatnot on the right foot, because it is freestyle. So the freestyle combo will be a con against this card. Otherwise, it would be his jumping, but again, he's He's six foot tall, it doesn't really matter too, too much, but he just doesn't get off the ground, unfortunately, and that will go against Shkov as well. Apart from that, this card is phenomenal. Basically, is he hit or miss? And what I mean by hit or miss is, if he's a hit, I'd do him, well, I'd do him, I'd, I'd uh, buy the cards, I'd use him as a super, super starter. If he's miss, I'd just avoid this card altogether. So it's like, hit or miss, uh, deal or no deal. It's, uh, it's something like that. Honestly, we could call this series deal or no deal, but I think uh, Noel Edmonds will have something to say about that. Um, yeah, it's just an incredible card, boys. He's creative as well. He did get a couple of assists for myself. As uh, Son gets put through here, Son's gonna do well. He's gonna chip it to the back post at the second attempt, and Shkov is there to bicycle kick it home into the back of the net. So, when it comes to it, Shkov's a great player on this game. He's, he's gonna be overlooked. He's gonna be um, not in everyone's mindset when they come to buy like, right midfielders on this game. Is he as good as Team Lear Mbappe? Nobody is. Nobody is. Um, team Lear Mbappe stands out by himself, so he's not as good as like a Team Lear Mbappe. He's not like end game, end game, end game, but he's a fun card to use. Like I said, as an impact sub off the bench, you've got a lot of good impact subs from this team this season. That Henri, is it Onye Keru? I want to try him as well in this series, but um, you've got a lot of good players to choose from these days in terms of super subs, and Shkov adds to that list because he's just an incredible player at times. You've seen all the goals in the background, all the assists, all the contributions. It's all in week Weekend League as well, his overall record was six games played in the Weekend League, nine goals scored and one assist. I'm showing you everything he basically did do for me in game as he gets the ball here. Look at the strength uh, to get past certain players in certain situations.
situations. He's passed back, of course, but um, that's close. It's very close there from Ericsson, and he will score on this. I think this is the second attempt. The ball comes in. It comes to uh, the edge, and it's just uh, Shkov again. Look at this. He cuts inside, and he just nice little step overs near post OP. Because those step overs with Shkov have been six foot tall. He's very lanky. If you can do those step overs, and there's like a trailing leg there to be caught, either off your op opposition like defender to catch you, you're going to win penalties. And that's exactly what it did in this video. Shkov cuts inside, and once again, he scores a goal. So is he hit on this, lads? He's definitely hit. I would definitely try this out. I'd definitely stick him on your bench. I'd definitely use this card. I mean, this is what this series is all about. Trying cards. I would normally not go near. So Shkov is definitely a hit. I don't know what I'm gonna call this series. Like I said, comment section below with your ideas, your thoughts and everything like that. But Shkov, definitely do him boys, definitely do him. It's, it's not even SBC, I don't know why I'm saying that. Definitely buy him, definitely try him. And let me know how you do get on in the comment section below. But lads, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you have enjoyed. Once again, if you have, smash a like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you all next time.